Hey everybody, I'm Tanya with Penny Rich Life and today I just wanted to do a quick video to show an easy craft that can be done for spring or for Easter baskets. Uh, it's very child appropriate so you can easily do it. This is something that we would do with our grandkids when we have them after school. And if you wanted to do a grown-up version of it, maybe to go into an Easter basket for a college child or something like that, or maybe even a housewarming gift, you could do it with a set of full-size towels. They just need to be folded into a square shape to start. It's very, very simple, and everything that we're using glue-wise is child-safe. Uh, so, you know, let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the links for our blog for directions and also for all of the products that we're using they'll appear in a link below the video so please be sure to just click on those for more information and follow along with the blog we'd love to have you as part of our family you are going to need a couple of things I picked up just a an assorted bag of the little acrylic pom-poms I'm going to use the two smallest sizes on those you're going to need a package of the little wobbly eyes. We used to call these googly eyes, but I think that you can find them under both names. We will use the smallest size of these also. I think on the washcloth we use the 10 millimeter, and if you go up in size, then you can always scale the appropriate size of your eyes. This is just a regular school safe glue. This takes about 10, 15 minutes to dry, if you are trying to do this where it can be handled immediately, you can use a hot glue or you can use one of the quick dry liquid glues. I just rated my craft stash just for ribbons. Uh, this one I'm actually going to put together a yellow with blue for my grandson Blaine. Uh, you can use any ribbon that you like. It can be printed, whatever you like, you can use that. And then the last thing that you're going to need I, are the little rubber bands. We're just going to use this to secure your washcloth so that if you did want to use it again, it could be taken apart. I believe that I picked these up. It's a package of 500 and I think I got them at the Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree, uh, any dollar store, even the, the beauty supply should have those for you. The first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to take your washcloth and you're just going to lay it so that you can fold it on the diagonal. You're going to fold in one corner and then you're just going to roll it as tightly as you can. And when you get across to the other corner, you're going to fold that corner in a little bit. That way it takes off that, that sharp point and when you roll it up, you don't end up with a flap there. I've seen, uh, you know, these videos have been around for a little while. And I've seen videos for the boo-boo bunnies that don't fold that in, and then they end up with a little piece that flaps at the end. I don't like that, so I'm going to finish mine out. The next thing that you're going to do is take that, and you're going to fold it so that you find the center. That's going to make the tail of your bunny. And then you're just going to take those two bunny ears and fold them back so that they rest over the tail. I've got some little threads here, but I'm going to trim those off after we get everything put together. I'm actually going to take two of these little rubber bands, and I'm going to put them together just to give us a little bit more strength to hold our cloths in place. And as you can see, I've got several of these set on the table. You can do these in any color, so you could do them to match a bathroom. You can do them in a child's favorite color. They're really simple, very quick, and very economical to do. So it's a nice touch of spring without a big investment. The first thing that I'm gonna do is just take a little piece of this ribbon, and I'm just going to tie over where we put that rubber band. Now this ribbon is not going to show once everything is done, so it, it can gather up on itself, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pull that as tight as I can, and basically what I'm doing is I'm using that ribbon to gather that washcloth up a little bit tighter. That actually makes the shape of the bunny stand out a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off 
the extra the excess on the ends and then I'll just fluff up my bunny ears and you can see already it's starting to really take a good shape the next thing that I'm going to do is take a longer piece and what I usually do is that I leave it on the roll and I don't cut it until I have it actually the size that I want it so what I'm going to do is loop it and then tie just a regular shoestring bow and this is going to go right over that other ribbon that we used to gather it up it is a little bit trickier to leave it on the spool but that way I can actually trim it exactly where I want it and not have any waste on my ribbon and you're just going to pull that in place and what I like to do is pull it a little extra and then shape my bow and then I'm just going to take my scissors and I tend to cut it at a diagonal because it helps to keep it from fraying so we're just going to cut it like that and that's going to be our bunny shape you can see it from the side that way the next thing that I'm going to do is take our glue And I'm going to put a dot of glue where each of my eyes on my bunny will go. And then I'm just going to press those eyes in place. Because this washcloth is a little bit more porous or absorbent, it may take a little extra glue to get it to hold exactly where you want it. So put plenty of glue on there. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go right in the middle here, right on that fold, and I'm going to add the smallest of the little pom-poms. You can I did this in black simply because I just want them to have black noses, but you can do any color that you want, but that just gives our bunny a little nose. I'm going to go ahead and trim that thread out of there. It's just one of the stitching threads from the washcloth. So the last thing that we're going to do to finish this out is that I'm going to go onto the back side of the bunny, but I'm not going to go at the middle of the back. I'm going to go up high because bunny tails don't come directly out of, of the back. So I'm going to go up high or you could do way down low. Either one will look cute. Doing it right out the back tends to make it look like it's just stuck on there. So, and I'm just going to press that little bunny tail in place. If you go with the assorted sizes on the little pom poms, you could even go a bigger pom if you wanted to for the tail. I just like the way that one looked, so that's the reason I did that. But that is our washcloth bunny project. Very very simple. All of the links for where you can purchase the items that we use to put the project together will be linked below. If you enjoyed the video, we would love for you to subscribe and to follow us. And we also have a blog that is at pennyrichlife.com. We'd love to have you follow along with our journey and come along and have some fun with us. Thanks.